to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Simless Dry Alpha 18. This is Darkness Falls mod. So as you guys can see, my inventory over here is super super full, and this we're all gonna take over to our new build right over there. But what I also want to do is just put a little bit more on the bike, and as you guys can see, we have 1.9. Now, last time I thought, whoa, 1.9 is a lot, but it didn't really upgrade a ton of blocks. So I'm really hoping we can upgrade more this time. I'm going to put it on my bike, and then I'm going to see if I can sell a few things, because it's day 25, so the trader respawned. So I'm going to sell these things over here, the pistols and the hats and stuff. And then I want to see if this trader perhaps has some blade traps and stuff. And then as soon as we drop everything off on the other side, we can actually check those traders as well. So, north... East, we need to point our bike at more or less there. I don't want to uh, park it downstairs because just now wandering horde or something passes through, and then my bike gets screwed, especially with a lot of stuff on. Uh, where did I put my bike? Is it still outside? No, wait, what? Oh, there it is. Whew, from that, I, I thought I was going crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here, guys. I am so tired at the moment, so I do apologize if I make slurred speeches, a uh, slurred speech, or um, talking mistakes or whatever. <laughs> um, my eyes are bloodshot. That's how tired I am. I just finished in the pool and the the water was so hot. The, and uh, I think the consistency is also awful a little bit and that just caused havoc on my eyes. But yeah, hopefully I can actually get through this episode without making too many mistakes. And you guys enjoy it. So let's just put all of that in there. Um, that we're going to sell all of it. Sell all of it. This we're going to take over to the base. I might be able to get a full stack now that I'm still here. So we're going to put the food in there. And two more things, two more things, two more things. Let's put the leather and the pine seeds. Okay, so, oh crap, I should have done that. Okay, at least the stuff we need to sell are still close to each other. I just don't want to sell my lucky looter goggles. Okay, let's just quickly go check what this trade has. Please tell me she has some blade traps. We need blade traps desperately. That build, we only have two at the moment, and we need like 20 of them for the build. But it's just going to deter the zombies from wailing on the walls. Okay, so there's shotgun ammo over here. There's a crucible, electrical parts. Not really stuff that we need right now. Basic sensor schematics, we already read that one. Damn, it seems that's all over here. Crucible, we already have two of. I think I, think I bought one, and we have this one we have on us at the moment. The shotgun turrets, I'm not sure if I should really enable turrets over there. Later when the uh, the demons start showing up, sure. But at the moment, I'm not sure if I should. I mean, the demons pack a punch, guys. For those of you new to this mod, demons do the most damage. They're worse than behemoths and stuff, so you want to watch out for those. Well, at least in Alpha 16, it was like, it's been a while since we actually played this mod. Okay, so we're still looking for lathes and stuff. And thus far, we haven't had really any luck with that, so I hope... We get a lucky find in one of the traders. Because they restock on day 27 again. So until then, we need to get by. That's nine more. That shotgun. You know what? We use our shotgun all the time. So I can just as well, while I'm here, buy some more shotgun ammo. I just need to make sure that this total over here doesn't fall too low. That later on, when I need the money, that it's not there all of a sudden. Okay, shotgun. We're going to buy. And I should probably see. Leather duster. Pistol, pistol. How many of these things this trader wants to take? Most of them, nice. Okay, so most of the stuff I wanted to sell I just got sold, nice. Um, but yeah, that's all she has for me, no resources. Uh, perhaps I spoke too soon, let's just quickly check this. I need concrete mix, guys, like an insane amount. Stone, we have a ton of stone of already, but we need more always. But I need the finished product. Uh, that's going to save that us time. At the moment, it's taking forever to cook with this one concrete mixer. I was really hoping we could find more resources. I know the only trader that might really have a ton of resources is the Caitlin trader. I'm not sure if there's still a specialized trader in the wasteland area. But usually in the wasteland area, guys, there's a trader there called Caitlin. And she sells a ton of resources. The problem is actually finding that trader because there's still this side of the map we need to explore. And I'm, I'm just so scared to go there because it can be really daunting. Okay, so there's still treasures over there. I'm only going to go for them as soon as we have the a motorcycle. At the moment, it's going to be way too slow. So I think, let's just take this road over here. There is a path through the mountains over here, like I said, guys, but it's so easy to get stuck, and then it takes forever to get out of there. 
Okay, so I think the bike is full. Yeah. Let's make sure we are full as well. The more stuff we take over, the better. I already picked up all my workbenches. The fire I can actually also pick up. Okay, so I grabbed most of the stuff we need right now. There are a few mods over here that I'm not sure if we should keep or not. Serrated, uh, but berated blade. I oh, know, serrated. For a moment there, that looked like a bee. It looks like a bee, the berated. <laughs> I thought, what? What's that? Okay, so blessed metal I'm definitely taking over because that's going to come in handy against the hordes. I need to make sure I have purple guns and each gun at least has one of these. So it doesn't matter what gun I use, I can use it against the demons. Over here we still have stuff we can sell and gun parts. But I'm waiting for more space. I need more space on my inventory or even like a motorcycle with more space so I can actually grab all of this stuff. At the moment I just don't have the space. I don't want to get too encumbered because I'm already like a snail over here just carrying this stuff. I'm 35 space encumbered. Also guys, for those of you, um, I asked that question, how do I get my inventory over here open? How do, uh, what do I do? Because at the moment I do have my perk over here. Let's get your perks. Uh, pack mill 5 out of 5. And I have clothing, or, or rather triple storage pocket mods on all my normal clothing. It doesn't want to go on the armors. What do I do to increase these slots? I don't know how to do that. I don't know if it's uh, connected to a class or something, but I'm totally clueless at the moment. Okay, so now we're just quickly going to go to the other place and drop the stuff. I think we're first going to do a little bit of upgrading and building before we go to the other two traders. Reason being, all the concrete mix first has to dry anyway, so that's a good enough excuse to first do the upgrades. While we're out gallivanting, it can just dry so long. To give you guys an idea of how tired I am, my dad just walks in here and asks me, did I bring the books with me? And for a moment, I couldn't, I, I couldn't understand what he was asking me. I, I forgot what, what's, what's these books he was talking about. And only after he told me about them, I remembered I had to bring a stack of books from the crash with me. And I could just, it completely slipped my mind. I was so busy and my hands were full and I just, I completely forgot about the books. These days I am just so extremely tired, so I cannot wait for tomorrow. From tomorrow, my sister-in-law, my little brother's fiance, takes over the admin and I can just focus on swimming and resting a bit. The swimming is picking up insanely fast now, the slots are filling up, so that's also a nice thing. I teach all the way from two years old, well, I now I have a year and a half old kid, all the way up to adult, so I teach everyone how to swim. Okay, you know what, this is actually worth getting off, there's a ton of zombies in this area. I just hope the bike doesn't slip away over here. No, oh, no, come on, all of you come to me. There was a guy just here, I thought he saw me, a biker dude, but he walked away. I thought it was like five or six zombies I wanted to kill, and all of a sudden, all of them are just gone. Ooh, nice. More schematics. We need more schematics. I need those bundle schematics, guys. I need, I think, 40 more to be able to make a new class. And as soon as I have that, I'm going to make a laborer. The sooner we can get our own concrete mixes, the better. If I ever start this mod over again, I'm going to start as laborer. I want to be able to craft anything and build my base. And then later, worry about getting guns and upgrading and stuff. Because at the moment, I'm screwed. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's actually a ton of stuff st still to loot over here. There's a red mesa over here. This looks like different kind of brick. Um, there's an army base over there. And there's even way more. There's so many PRIs in this place that I want to loot. That I want to get to. So as soon as we have more or less the walls up. Even if we can't finish it before tw day 28. I'll just make sure that we loot the school before then. So we have a place to face the horde on. And I'm going to make sure I have a ton of... Well, I don't have contact grenades. But I'll make sure I have a ton of molotovs. Then, leave, then I can set them alight and get some XP while I'm waiting for the night to go over. Okay, so let's quickly see this over here. We still have a corner to upgrade. Just keep our shotgun on us. There's still a few survivors in the area, so we don't have to worry too much. But I can't let my guard down. Now, there's a ton of stuff over here. Ooh, I love this. You can just go like this and click this one so it fills existing stacks. And this way you know you can more or less just uh, start clearing out your inventory. And whatever's left, you can just say you want to uh, move everything over. For example, this one moves everything over here, but I don't know uh, what I want to put over my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one is... With all items to loot, it will really have at least one stack. So, that is some ammo as well. I don't want to put all my ammo in there, but at this stage, I'm going to be able to clear my inventory enough so I can at least move around a bit. Thank you, and one more. Now, where did I put my... 
frames and my nail gun. I think over here. And the nail gun's also in here somewhere. I'm so tired, I might just be looking right past it. Let's just check through all of these then. Uh, no, it's not in there. I'm getting a ton of stutter again. Now, even use the GFX thing. Okay, now, do I have the nail gun on me, or am I just completely missing it? See, that's how tired I am. My eyes can't focus on the screen right now. It has to be a somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Please don't tell me I left it at the other base, but it has to be here. Here it is. Okay, here I, I knew I had it with me. Just couldn't see it. Okay, so we're going to put the rebar right there, and quickly just going to finish this corner over here. Now, just this corner is al almost already taking all my concrete mix. It sucks. Wait, 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 wait. I just put away a ton of concrete mix. I should have seen that coming because I think there was still a little bit of concrete mix left. So when I said to move everything that already has a stack over here, it filled up the concrete mix. I hope that was the only bit in there. Otherwise, I might just say, oh no, I don't have any resources left. And meanwhile, I have a full stack somewhere. Oh, well, that's my fault. I should have seen that for, uh, sooner. Because now we only have 1.2. No, no, there has to be another stack here somewhere, guys. Um, oh, the stack is over here. I almost forgot that we put stuff on the bike as well. Nice. Okay. So as soon as we have the chance, I also want to put my workbenches down. So do this, do this. For this one as well. I think I'm going to use both of these tabs now. So I'm going to do this and then this one. That way I know all the meat's going over, all the ammo more or less is going over, and it's clearing up my inventory quite nice. Okay, so we have 2.2k concrete mix to work with at the moment. Unfortunately, we don't have those blade traps. I almost forgot about that, but the trader didn't have any of those. I would have seen it and then remembered. Okay, so the blade traps are going to be... Let's just place two down so long. That way you guys can more or less get an idea of what I'm planning to do over here. Now where... Over here. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the side so you guys can see what I mean. There's going to be one in the corner over here. Like so. So there's one going to be over there and one going to be over here. I'd rather work with the side ones over here. It's easier to get this going over. See, you can't place a block there, so it's going to have to be like so. No, 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 no. Watch out for the grass pieces, John. I don't want any of these rebar frames dropping. Just ate a massive piece of steak, and I think I didn't swallow properly or I ate too fast because it's stuck in my throat. That's why every now and then it uh, sounds like my voice is going away. Okay, so after I do this side... We're going to do this, just two out, because this over here, like I said, the zombies still need to be able to stand here, and then these blades are going to shred them. So it's going to look like this, and then this wall is going to go up, but on this block right here, there's going to be another blade trap. So there's going to be two blades sticking out, although for now, this is going to use a ton of resources, guys. So I'm not sure if we're going to even have enough, because it's going to take 40, 40 blade traps to do this defense properly. So I think um, for this horde, for the day 28 horde, I'm going to have to do it on the school, just so it gives me enough time to either craft the blade traps. I wonder what you need. Let's just quickly do this. Should a zombie come, they can't get up to me. And that gives me time to just quickly check blade traps, blade traps. Okay, so this one I can craft with a perk. I think it's a metal workbench that you need for this one. Middle workstation. 10, 10, 8, 8. Not 10, 10, 8, 6. 10, 10, 8, 6. And an oil. This one I can craft. What does it require? Workbench. I think as soon as I put down the iron workbench, or metal workbench, I should be able to do one of these. Let's see this one. Yeah, one of them. Uh, it has to be. Uh, I can make one of them. I know I can. But I think it's going to have to be in the middle workbench. But I don't want to place that down now. Especially since we don't have our land claim block down here yet. Although, the trader is pretty safe, so I could technically just drop mine here. I don't have to worry. Let's just quickly do this again. Make sure all these... I think at the moment these chests are full, aren't they? Let's just check this out. Like so, and then workbenches first. Let's just put the workbenches in there so that I know that where they are. I think all the other workbenches are somewhere else as well, so I really need to start sorting my inventory better. Like, I, it is an insane need for me to do it. Okay, let's just put all of the hazmat in there as well. 
Okay, so this I'm going to dump in a separate chest, and then we're going to go to the trader. But before that, we need to finish this. So I'm not sure if I should do the wall at least so long, and then put, just put the blade traps in afterwards, or if I should only focus on this part. Because this way, I know that if a zombie tries to get here, well, they're still going to be able to jump over, but it's going to slow them down. And if I do this and there's no blade traps, they might just start breaking the wall. If that cave in, that's a ton of resources lost. So I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it. Okay, now I wonder... I think it's going to be faster if I do the bottom row first. Because as you guys know, plant fibers in this game suck. They sometimes get in the way and you can't really aim properly over here. One skill point that is... Where, 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 where is the perk? Lock picking. Remember guys, we said we need to get these two at least... So we can ensure that when we go looting, it takes fa uh, goes faster and it breaks less. Because I have insanely bad luck. Look at this. If I place this now, it's going to break just because of this damn tree over here. Or rather, not tree, just weeds. I'm guessing that's weed. You get wood from it, but still. I hope. I should actually, re I think no. We're going to do the trade this quickly, and then we're going to see if we can quickly run through the school. Reason being, there might just be a ton of books we can scrap, and then that's going to give us all the skill notes we need to make the new class. If I can do that, guys, as soon as I can make a class book, I'm going to make sure I plant all my stuff over here. I should actually take this piece of ground out and put... It doesn't have to be something tough. It can be like cobblestone or something. Um, in place of the dirt over here. That's just going to ensure that um, the dirt doesn't break and my chest don't break. The floor is going to be a little bit harder than a piece of dirt. Because as soon as I have that... Uh, as soon as I can make myself a new class quest for the cement mixer, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this my permanent base. I mean, it is going to be my permanent base, but at the moment, I can't really call it a base. It's just a foundation. I moved to an open piece of field, a vacant lot. The only thing I'm really worried about at the moment is the fact that the corners are going to be ex extremely heavy. Because the two blade traps going to be on top of each other over here are going to be in each other's way. Um, what I mean by that is, oh, no, not in the way, the weight's going to be on top of each other. The sides are going to, the sides are already being carried by this wall, and now this corner has to be carried by that wall as well. But I actually wanted to do this, guys. I wanted to do that, and then on top of that, another blade, and then the wall. But if the zombies destroy the blades, it's so thin here, they're going to break through. At least this way, they have to break through a ton of concrete over here. And if they try to stack on top of each other over here, there's going to be another blade hitting their heads, decapitating them. So hopefully this design rocks. I just hope it does. Okay, so out of concrete mix, which is bad. Guys, what, I, what I'm obviously going to have to do, since it's this biome is I'm going to have to cut all the grass over here and down the trees. Because they also create lag. Well, at the moment, my frame, rate's, my frame rate is good. It's just stutter from my CPU and GPU being overloaded. That's the reason I'm getting stutter on the screen. If it wasn't for that, I'd be set. But anyways, um, I would still need to cut all these trees because it's just going to improve the rates a little bit. Not much, but it's going to do something at least. And then I have to figure out how to get more... I wish I had the connections to just uh, import myself a proper graphics card. I like to say someone, listen, here's all the cash, please send it over to me. But these days, with so many criminals out there, you can't trust anyone. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, that we need to sell, but some of the stuff I need to sell, we put away. So we're going to put these away for now. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Whew. I thought there's only three rebar frames left, but there's 208 left. That's a ton. Okay, so the pistol we're going to keep on us, that we're going to keep on us. All this stays on us and the cash because we quickly just need to go to the trader. Hmm. I wonder if I put away... I think I put away repair kits as well. Because uh, there should still be one or two over here and I dumped a ton. I, I could have sworn I made like 60 or so. Unless I already used all of them without noticing it. Because there's a ton of stuff over here that we still need to sell that I want to repair. But I don't want to repair if I only have four repair kits left. That's just gonna screw me over later. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chance it. Okay, so let's just grab all the nine more ammo we can carry. Make sure these are reloaded nicely. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that one does need to reload. Okay, so we just do this. Let's quickly go to that trader up the hill road and the one next to him. Hopefully they have the blade traps we need. I'm I'm really making I'm depending on these to have what we need. If they don't, guys, we won't. If they don't at least altogether have like 10 blade traps, I don't think we're going to make this horde. 
I mean, at least by day 27, we should, if we go to all the traders and we find more blade traps, we should be able to make it. But it's going to be so much of a rush, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. This isn't easier waiting on the roof. Hopefully, they don't destroy the whole place before the night time is over. So you guys saw how fast they actually destroyed that one pure eye I was waiting on. I mean, they go for the walls, especially since it's uh, it was wood. They destroy the walls so easily. But now, at least if I w uh, wait on the school, that's going to be concrete and stuff. So it's going to take all brick. So it's going to be longer to break through. Oh wow, I was heading to the wrong place. Have I? Yeah, I looted this already. I remember the workbenches of a. From there, I wanted to say, have I looted that? Let's go loot it quickly. It's just going to be a waste of time at the moment since we've already done it. That's why I, I wish there was a way to, if you've done if you've done a PRI and you don't want it anymore, delete it. Just scrap it. Get the resources for something. Because you can destroy the houses, but it's going to take forever and a ton of gas. Okay, so... Please tell me you have what we need. Sorry about your desk over here. I need to get through. Okay, so there's tomatoes. We don't need tomatoes. Bridge schematic, we don't need. Forge schematic, is that already red? Yeah. I need to make sure that we've already read this stuff. There's a ton of stuff we haven't read yet because I just haven't looted them yet. Blade traps, four. See, four already, just like that. Nice. That's gonna come in handy. Let's just buy all 13 switches. Mini buy, gunshot. Ooh, I'm so tempted to buy the ammo, but just now I find more blade traps for the other trader. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself if I buy stuff here and all of a sudden the tra other trader also has some. But if he has concrete mix, that we're definitely gonna take now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope. Okay, but we are gonna take the sand. We are right in next to a desert, or rather at the moment in a desert. But it's gonna take a ton of gas going through all of this. So I'd rather just buy the sand. We know we have it. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, so the shotgun ammo here, yeah, but we'll really, we actually already have a ton of shotgun ammo. It should be enough for the next horde. So for now, let's just quickly go to the next trader. It's right over there. At least it's not too far away. That's a nice thing. I just wish they were, uh, Imagine being able to live in between four traders. Or right next to a Caitlyn trader or something. The only problem is you can't live at a uh, Caitlyn trader because as you guys know, in the wasteland biome, it's hectic. In the night time, not even horde time, just normal night time, there's a ton of behemoths and... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The mutated soldiers. There's a ton of those guys there. So it's basically like facing a horde night every night, and the seventh night is just way more, uh, way worse. Because so guys, I finally managed to order a fiber for our house. Um, only problem is now, as you guys can see the studs, so I need to figure out how to get my game running smoothly. Um, it doesn't help me streaming and my CPU or GPU or power, power supply runs at 100%. That's just going to be very crappy video for you guys. I want to make sure that it's smooth, it's awesome, you guys enjoy it, and I get a ton of subscribers. I'm really struggling getting subscribers, guys, no joke. My subscribers get stuck at 6, 610. It's between 68, 610, 62, 6, uh, 6. It just keeps going. It doesn't want to pass 610. It's been 611 once and then dropped to 608. So I have really bad luck when it comes to finding subscribers. That's why I always ask you guys in the comment section if you have any pointers, did I miss anything or... Is there anything you think I could cover that's going to enhance my video? Let me know. Am I talking too fast? Am I not looting fast enough? Or Just let me know your comment. Remember, everyone has their own playstyle, but that doesn't mean I can't change mine a little bit to accommodate everyone's playstyle. Okay, so sand over here. Obviously, I'm not going to sell out. That's what I'm talking about. I just mean that uh, I'm, I might just have gotten lazy, and th that was my original playstyle. Who knows? Because I have gotten lazy, guys. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Now we have something we didn't have before. Now we just need a concrete mixer. It's a shame none of them had that. Or a welding torch. If we had the welding, welding torch, we can just make our own. Because at the moment, we need a welding Thanks. torch for our metal workstation to be able to make a uh, concrete mixer. So we need this to make that. To make. It's like finding a job. You need experience to find a job, but you need a job to find experience. Is that, it's, it sucks. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm going to go for the school, I think. Because there's definitely some books in there. I wanted to do the Red Mesa, but I think we'll do the Red Mesa next episode. During the night, I might just cut down a few trees and make this place a little bit more livable. So at the moment, with all these trees, the zombies can come from anywhere and I won't be able to see them. Only problem is that wall is so low. If a wandering horde decides to show up, 
they're going to be able to jump over. Even bears will be able to jump over, and then they buy my boxes. So if a crop or something explodes or vomits there, I lose a ton of loot. I need to take all of that into consideration. Wait, what is... Oh, there is a town over there. Completely forgot about that. Is that a town or just random pure eyes that is all over the place? No, that's just a random pure eye. I think what I might just do is run through the whole school, kill all the zombies, and then make the last few minutes of the video a speed play, where I just loot everything with my goggles on, and then I put some music over that so you guys can at least enjoy me going through the place. Because then you see what I loot, and there's no skipping away and say, oh wow, look at what I found. I hate it when people do that, because sometimes you know it's just bullshit. I mean, I don't want to bullshit you guys, that's why I'm saying I'll loot it on camera. Oh crap. And I don't have any gas on me, so let's just do this and run to the school. At least there are a few cars in front of the school, but I don't have my wrench with me. Okay, we are at least very, very close to the base. I just haven't put anything down, and my bicycle is here as well. So if I were to die here right now, I'd be screwed, because I'll have to run all the way back over here. That's going to be the whole night just doing that. Bullseye! Man, I love the silencer. It is so OP as well. It's almost like a shotgun, but you have to make a headshot. There is still so much loot over here, guys. This place on top has a special loot. This is the mall, right? The paper mall. Right there. There's uh, almost always radiated guys over there, but there's loot over there as well. So if I can loot all of that... Oh, almost shot you. I almost thought you were a zombie closing in. Okay, now, I said I'll first clear this place and then loot. Ah. Imagine being able to actually ride that. That would be awesome. Okay, so, shotgun. We're literally just going to wake up everyone, run around, let them all run to us. All this noise will definitely call more zombies to us. Hello, hello, hello. I need to make sure that I kill every single one of you, so I don't get a nasty surprise during the night. This is the only thing I'll loot right now. Anything the zombies drop. Ah, uh, crap. Don't have any gas left on my auger, so I'm going to have to do this to get through to stuff. Wait, what? What did I just break? That's bullshit. Was it two things behind each other or something? Okay, so as soon as we're through, let's go do this. Oh! Okay, so you heard me. I didn't see you hear me. She was standing right there. I didn't even notice her coming closer. That was almost way too close for comfort. Ooh, hello! Bullseye, bullseye. I need to make headshots. Guys, watch out when they fall like that. You guys just saw he took a swing at me. You can still get hit by that. Even though he's on his back already. Oh, crap. Hello. Muted white. What is all these muted ones? They're insanely huge. These guys look like skyscrapers. Okay, so I should probably just quickly do this. Okay, make sure I kill all the zombies. I don't want to let anyone in from outside. That one's walking around, damn it. I just said I don't want anyone walking around from the sides, and now I'm letting them walk around from the sides. Okay, so... I need to start in a corner and then go. We have our lights on. We should be able to do all of this, this episode. That is the timer, but we're gonna finish this, guys. We are definitely finishing this, this episode. Hello. How are you standing by a toilet? You are a lady. Okay, so... Ooh, nice. That was definitely worth it. Okay, so I need to make sure we loot every single room so they don't surprise us all of a sudden. Where does this lead to? There might just be another way in there that's easier. But this is a way for me to see what that way is. But there's something trying to break through the door over there as well. Nope, nothing over here. There's something right here. Hello. If I can kill them that way, that's going to be awesome. And then throughout the night, I can just focus on looting. But it seems zombies are trying to get in. Man, it's... It's defended all the way around. So I'm, I wonder if I'm going to be able to do this right now. I really want to see if I can clear this whole place out. But every single door is protected. Like for example, this is over here. And the rest of the stuff is also very protected. Ooh, nice. You can jump through. Okay, so... These desks will have some loot in. Well, most of them. And I need to get through to all these places. I have to make sure there's a path all the way through. Ooh. I love the fact we can jump like this. Okay, so we can jump through one uh, block slots. 
I've cleared this side already. Let's just quickly clear this side. This is toilets as well, I think. Come on, come on, come on. No zombies. Remember, guys, if you don't clear the whole place, zombies can move around their spawn points. So you have to make sure you take out all the zombies and then loot. Otherwise, they are definitely going to get you from behind. And so the fact that I've been making so much noise and no zombies have spawned... I wonder if there's really going to be any zombies. There might just be something on that side. Let's just see what... What does this lead to? Shotgun. This is closed off. Ooh. Wait, what? I think the feral white broke out of here. This is big enough for that to happen. Okay, and this is broken. Man, I hate the fact that we don't have the auger. But then again, the auger is going to make a ton of noise. Ooh, this I need to continue to read. Or rather loot. Okay, so I think we just got through that whole side over there. There's still this side of here, and then we need to go upstairs. This place is huge. But if I can use this as a horde base at night, guys, we should be set. We should be safe. Come on, there should be more zombies around here. We can actually hear them sleeping. That is creepy. Come on. Make noise, let them come to you, like this guy over here. Mutated, so he's huge. Okay, that should be the only one in there. Just watch out for any wandering zombies coming in. Since he was the only one that ran at the door, he should be the only one in there. Let's just clear the whole side out first. Just now I missed something over here and they hit me from behind. This way at least we know we clear out section for section and we're going to be safe. It's really amazing how this whole place is almost empty. Okay, now the zombies are going to be a little bit more wild. Let's hope they don't spawn in now in this place that I've cleared. That's going to suck. Okay, I think I've cleared that whole side over there. This side of here is just toilets. I wonder that those noises over there, is that the survivor fighting zombies? Or is that zombies trying to break in? Or what is that sound? It's in a suck if the whole neighborhood decides to descend on me right now. They're fighting outside, definitely outside. Okay, so we can quickly go upstairs. Wait, something's trying to get in over here. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. There's more zombies outside that heard that just now, damn it. I need to clear this place out for- oh crap. Okay, so that was way too close for comfort. I think it's because it's night time that that guy was waiting for me upstairs. That was a really tough guy waiting for me just now. Ooh, I should probably kill this guy first. I don't want him spawning or moving around the spawn points. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, ooh. You as well. Let's hope all the doors up top are open. So we don't have to worry too much about breaking in. This is nice and open. From what I thought it was a zombie dangling from on top. Okay, so I'm mostly going to be speed playing the loot thing. And I think even if zombies show up. I thought I was a zombie over there. Even if zombies were to show up, guys, I think I would just still do the speed play. Because we've mostly cleared all the places over here. If there are still any more zombies left, it's mostly zombies that came in after. Should probably first clear that, but let's just quickly kill this girl. Nothing. Okay. And you seem to be the only one over here, but we're going to take care of you quickly. And hello. I see you charging me over there. Empty. Ooh. Oh, crap. It's this guy. Ah, no. I managed to kill him first shot. And why was the other guy in the bunker, or rather in the tomb? So damn hard to kill. I shot him in the face, and I shot him in the face, and oh wow, this is a wandering horde. If not, then at least all the zombies in this place are coming to me. I think they heard me from outside and started a mini wandering horde, and now they're passing through this place to get to me. Which is insane, because I'm, gonna, I'm kind of starting to get lost over here with the size. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here. Okay, so this is how you get to the roof. We're going to have to watch out for this because during the horde, the zombies are definitely going to try coming up here. They're definitely going to try and follow us up. Okay, so there are zombies still over here. I just need to make sure we clear all the zombies. There might just some, uh, be some loot over here as well, like with one of the hotels. I might be wrong. Okay, there's a box over there. Ooh, hello. Gun box, crappy gun. I hate it when it's crap like that. It has to be awesome guns. I don't know why I'm power attacking these things. I can left click. Wait, what was that? 
Rebuff frames and anvil. Not bad, but I mean, we already have these things, so at the moment it's crap. And I think we just cleared the roof. Okay, so now we can start looting. If I'm not mistaken, okay, we might just have one more side to clear, but that's it. This is loot he dropped. Ooh, he dropped some gold and silver. Okay, now the zombies over here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you, and you dropped some loot. Should I go out over there or? You see, the, th the thing is, if I go out of here, I'm gonna have to run back in, anyways. Okay, I think we just looted this whole place. No, no, no. We still have to do that side over there. Imagine running out of stamina, all of a sudden, a ton of mutants chase after you. I think that's the scariest feeling in the world. Okay, so. So far, I don't see a reason to keep the looting on camera, guys. Because that was only if I get like a ton of gun saves and stuff. But at the moment, I'm actually disappointed in the crap that I'm seeing. Like, there's not, there's not a ton of good things in here. Okay, what? I loot this already, didn't I? No, I didn't. Hello. Hello, hello. Right over here. Ooh, yes, this is what we came here for. So I can just as well do this with you guys. Nice. And then the rest of the place I'll loot off camera. Because that's just going to be a waste of time. Okay, so that's crap. Make sure there's no more zombies back here. Okay, so the only place zombies can come from right now is there. Now, let's just for now, I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but I want to make sure we get a ton of good stuff. Please, I need notes. Okay, that's one more thing we can scrap. Everything we can scrap only gives like three skill, for, uh, skill notes. That's three more. I am so close to actually making my own class. That's three more. Come on, come on, come on. We need more, we need more. That's three more. Three more. Nice. Let's start scrapping these. The ones we've already read. This, for example, adds to stuff so we can read that again. This we need to read in that bench. I think that's the only one for now. Let's see, let's see. Please, I need more. I need way, way more. It doesn't seem like my prayers are going to be answered. You guys, I think I'm just going to call the episode here. During light, I'm just going to make sure I take this whole place apart, looting it. I want to make sure that I get every single nook and cranny because uh, one, the zombies are going to come through and destroy this place and two, I need to get my scavenging up. So hopefully doing this, it will go up nicely. I think if I find a safe, I'll do that with you guys in the morning. I just need to remember where and what room because there are so many rooms in this place. But if you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I'm missing anything? What do you guys think about this episode? Anything at all? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content.